What's going on everybody? Good morning, happy Saturday. So today we are gonna do a valve adjustment on a Cummins X15, that is right, X15, X15. Pretty simple, I'm gonna show you guys the steps that I do to do the valve adjustment. If you're ever in doubt, I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to look up the information that you need, okay? I'll explain that again. So if you need to look up the lash, the valve adjustment, injectors, torque, anything like that, Cummins actually provides it for free. They're on their website, you can go to quickserve, dot cummins dot net or something like that or dot com i'll show you that right now on the computer i'm going to log on just to be sure and all you need is the engine serial number that you're working on okay so if you've got an x15 isx isl9 you name it it will be there it will show you parts it will give you breakdown pretty easy to use so that's that so what we're going to need right now to do a valve adjustment is a couple tools we're going to need something to bar over the engine you're going to do that right here by removing the plug up here by the air compressor this mark on the cover i don't know if you guys can see it there let me see if i can uh flip it around guys and show you guys here so this mark on the cover okay on the timing cover when you rotate the engine you're going to look for some letters a b and c they're going to be at different points so you're going to have an a rotate the engine a little bit you're going to have b rotate the engine a little bit and you're going to have c and then you're going to see some other marks on there but what you want to look at is for a and then depending on what A is gonna ask you for, okay, that's either gonna be the first adjustment, which would be injectors, uh, injectors, exhaust, and I believe engine brake for number one, or it will be six. So basically TDC one, TDC six, something of that nature. But I'm gonna show you that right now in a second. So again, all you're gonna do is rotate that. You're gonna put something in right there. It should be something like this, okay? This is your little three quarter uh, or one inch, whatever the heck this is so half inch i'm just doing this half inch to three quarter and that should be able to go right on in and help turn the air compressor you're going to figure that out right now and again you're going to rotate down like you're tightening it okay always rotate in the natural direction so you're going to be pulling down and then you're going to be looking for the timing marks let me get my flashlight over here okay you're not going to see it i'm going to have to kind of doctor it a little bit with some paint so you can see so right now you're going to uh, you can't see it. It says insert pin, but we're not going to do that. And then just above that, it's going to say the letter A. So you're going to rotate that mark to this right here. So let me start prepping everything and showing you guys what I mean. But first, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to log on to QuickServe and I'm going to explain what I'm talking about for the information you need for this. Okay, guys. So just to give you a quick little view of how I do it. And again, it might be different for someone else. Uh, whatever works for you, but this is just how I found works for me. So again, on an X15 ISX, um, this is pretty much how you're going to bar over the engine. Again, remove that little cover. It's a little um, it's a plug. It's a rubber boot, little rubber plug, and just simply rotate the engine down. Be careful you don't damage any hoses. Get all the shit out of your way, and then just rotate nice and freely. Okay, you're going to get some resistance. Norm that's normal because you've got some compression on the engine, and just keep doing that until you get to the letter A, the letter B, and the letter C. So right now. Let me see if I can zoom in there. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There's the little mark A. Okay, I'm going to actually paint it. And then that little hash mark, where is this thing? Here, bear with me. This little hash mark right here is going to line up with this right here. So that'll be your A. You can paint it with a marker, yellow marker, white marker, whatever works for you. And again, all you're going to do is line it up here. And then based on what is happening up here. So if the valves on number one are gonna be tight, then more than likely you're gonna be adjusting number six. Then you're gonna rotate and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna go and just rotate it, set it up, I'm gonna paint it, and then we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible, and I hope this uh, this can help some of you guys out in the future. Okay guys, so went ahead and marked the first mark on the vibration dampener or the crank. Okay, there's the letter A. I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit. But again, what you wanna do is line this up, this little hash mark, sorry about that, that hash mark as close to this as possible, okay? You might be off just a little bit, so you're probably gonna wanna rotate that down. See, oh, hold on, there we go. So there is the letter A. I just kinda like to paint it with something yellow so it's visible, and there you go, letter A. And all you're gonna do is mark that line up and get it as close to that as possible. So I'm a little off, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little sum sum to line it up. And once we do that, again, we're gonna find out where we are here. So let me do that and we'll go. All right guys, sorry about that. My 
intake fell. So I'm just gonna put this down here so the camera can focus. And that is gonna be our intake zero, I'm sorry, 0 0.014 or 0.356 millimeters. So intake, exhaust, you're gonna need your number six so you can make your slight adjustments on your lash. You're also gonna need, uh, I'm gonna have to find out which one the other one is. I don't know if it's a number two or three or whatever that is for the engine brake. But the engine brake actually went in pretty solid. So I don't need to make an adjustment there, but I'm still gonna verify even after I do my adjustments, just in case on the valve. So let's go upstairs. Let's look at quick serve and go from Okay there. guys, so like I mentioned, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go online. You're gonna to go to quick serve online. You're gonna create an account, an account, okay? It is actually free you can have up to, I believe, five engine serial numbers. So, okay guys, so we are logged in and you're gonna see on the left side of my screen, these are the engine serial numbers that you have um, available to you. Now, let's say you run out of five, you should be able to contact Cummins and say, hey, I no longer need this serial number. Can you please remove it from my list? They usually do that, um, although it does take time, so keep that in mind. So that's why I'm saying, if you have certain engines that you work on, add that information on there. So I'll give you an example. Uh, let's just punch in this serial number right here, 799-36-576, right? Go over to service. You're going to click on that. The next screen that's going to pop up, okay, well, that's typically it doesn't happen, but for some reason it did. Service. And this is an ISX-15, so pretty similar to what I have now. There might be some slight variations, but if you're not comfortable with assuming an ISX-15 is the same as an X-15, not a problem. You can go here to where it says service manual. Okay, click on that. Your very next screen that pops up is gonna give you all the information here. So for example, let's say you wanna go to cylinder head and you wanna go to overhead, 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 where are we at? Nope, nope, nope. Huh, I might be in the wrong spot. But anyway, you guys, you kinda get the idea. See, so rocker levers, overhead set. There we go, overhead set. The next thing that pops up right here is gonna be everything pertaining to this particular truck. See, there we go. It tells you how to set it. Make sure that the engine is cold, a certain temperature or below. So there you go. So if a guy rolls up into your shop, says, hey, I wanna do a valve adjustment. Engine is hot as hell. Don't do it, guys. It's gotta to have to cool off. There's no, there's nothing else to it. So again, rotate the engine. You're gonna look at the vibration dampener. You're gonna look for the letter A, mark up A, and just simply go from there. Set mark to A, adjust one or six, then slightly rotate the engine, bar it over to B. B will be two, five, C, three, four. And that's pretty much it, okay? Two revolutions are required for that and the engine brake. So very simple. This is how you're gonna get all the information that you need. Again, it's gonna be through QuickServe online. It is free, so I don't know if you guys know that, but somebody made me aware of that a while back and I think that's awesome. I completely love it. So here is the actual chart for what you're gonna do. So if you're at A, set cylinder valve one, engine brake one, B, five, five, C, three, three, and just keep going. If you look at it, it's the firing order, one, five, three, six, two, four, one, five, three, six, two, four. Automatically, boom, 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 easy peasy. It's gonna help you identify. So number one, the exhaust, I had that one, yeah. So I think I had that one backwards, shit. I'm glad I verified that. So exhaust rock, uh, exhaust valve rocker number one is gonna be this little short lever up here. Let me enlarge it so you can go from there. And again, guys, if you guys are already familiar with this, just go ahead and fast forward. But this is kind of a little tutorial that I think is pretty important. So number one is gonna be your exhaust. Number two should be intake. And number three is gonna be your engine brake. So I think this comes in handy, especially nowadays when people are just Googling things and you wanna make sure you have the right information and you don't wanna mess it up. So. Keep that in mind. Um, here we go. So intake is for this one, 0 0.014, 0 0.025 for the exhaust, and then seven millimeter for your engine brake, which is that really that really large um, fucking hockey, looky, hockey stick looking thing. So again, make your adjustments. I'm gonna go downstairs now. I gotta get this thing going. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I find as we go and let me know what you okay, guys think. Okay guys, so we are on the first rotation. So we're gonna be doing valves number one engine brake number one so you're looking at this and wondering what the hell's going on so really quick this is the way it was explained to me and this is what the book says so the shorter lever is going to be your exhaust and that's always going to be closest to the engine brake so you're going to make your adjustment there you're going to need your number six okay that's to make your adjustment there this is going to be a 19 mil here is your 
0.027 that's going to be for your exhaust that already made the adjustment this is for your engine brake so if your engine brake is out of adjustment uh it's a little tight there so i think i'm going to make the adjustment just so i can kind of be a little bit uh i don't know this is pretty tight yeah look at that that fucker ain't going anywhere so i'm going to make the adjustment on the engine brake right now and then this is the intake the intake is always going to be the longer of the two so if you're going to see there it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of stop go on there so that's good so make your adjustment once you're done again you see the mark there you're going to rotate the engine we're going to do b i'm going to show you that and then pretty, again firing order so one you're going to adjust number five three and then one i'm sorry six two four and that's pretty much it so again firing order one five three six two four and then you're all set so a b c a b c all set all done so let me make the adjustment again this is a little tight i'm, I'm not pretty uh, i'm not happy with that i think that's just the way it came from the factory or just over time it's been done so let's make the adjustments and let's move on from there and get this over with okay guys we are back so here we go now we've we finished up a now we're going to rotate the engine over to b i went ahead and rotated and matched it up as best i could so that those two are meeting up okay can't really tell with the paint but that's what you're going to look for is b uh, again, use a marker, use whatever works for you. Once you do that, you're gonna go up here on the top and you're gonna verify if you're gonna be on five, which you should be. So again, we just did one. We're gonna be at five. If we were on the second rotation, then two would be loose and then number five would be tight. But let me show you something really quick. Uh, kind of interesting here. So bear with me guys. So here's the number two all the way down. See, so this is pushing down. So you definitely cannot adjust this. That's gonna have a little bit of play. Now, if you look over here on the number five, right? So that's what you're gonna adjust is the number five. So make your adjustments on the number five. You're gonna to rotate to letter C down here and then continue again, one, five, three, six, two, four. Can't go wrong with that. So that's pretty much that. Rotate it after I make my adjustments and verify and we'll go from there. Okay guys, back again. So. I showed you guys A, I showed you guys B, and then that is gonna be C. So right now that we have C, we're gonna make our adjustments to valves three. So we've already did one, we've done five, we're gonna do three, okay? And then just continue that same process again, A, B, C, one, five, three, a, B, C, six, two, four, and then you're all done. It doesn't matter if you start at one or if you start at six, it's really the same thing. Whatever works for you, sometimes just depends on how it falls. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys have any questions, that's, you know, feel free to, to, to hit me up again. Hopefully Insight will help you guys out. These are the tools that you're gonna need. It's gonna be a 13. I use this from Snap-on, this is for the half inch. It kind of gets me that little adjustment on the engine brake. You're gonna need the number three, Allen, hold on guys, there we go, the number three, Allen, so you can adjust the top of the engine brake. That's Chavo, everyone say hi to Chavo. Chavo, saludos. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you're gonna need a 19 mil, okay, 19 millimeter, and that's to kind of break the heads off the top, loosen them up, and again, to make your adjustments. Uh, I hope I'm not missing anything, and that's pretty much it, guys. So very, very simple video, I think. Um, not terribly uncomfortable, especially working on this International with the X-15. So once we're done here, we're gonna cover this thing back up, put it all back together, and then this guy's ready to go home and call it a day. So y'all, it's a great day, have a great weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, please, that's all I ask, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Have a great day.